How's it going everyone? Maryland here! That's right, I am indeed back. Don't worry, I wasn't going anywhere. I just needed to take a little break from making videos after the conclusion of a rather intense series. But you know what? Now that the Pokemon trading card game has released the newest expansion, Roaring Skies, and I got my hands on a booster box and even a set of theme decks, I figured, you know what? Let's record this. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Now, I'm not going to record the theme decks in this video, but I did want to show you them because they look really cool. Look at that. This one has Zapdos on it. It's called Storm Rider. Comes with lightning and grass energy. And here's a look on the back, just in case you were curious at some of the things you could get. Comes with a double dragon energy, which I hope to show you in this set. It's a really cool thing. There's some interesting cards in this. Um, I may do sort of like a beginner tutorial review on the theme decks, but this video is going to be about the booster box. Yeah, look at this one. Does this look sweet or what? Look at that box art. This is just so cool. And here's a look at the contents of this. Not too shabby. Two professors, Letter, Winona, Wally. Yeah, I, I kind of like them both, really. <laughs> and each one comes with a dragon in it. Oops, bumped the camera. I know, right? Right? You know you're off to a good start when you bump the camera. But anyway, that's out of the way. Maybe we'll do a video on those later, but let's face it, I think we all want to see the booster box because it's pretty cool. Look at this. Does this look awesome or what? Now, if you're unfamiliar with how I do booster boxes, I'm just going to tell you right now. You know, there are a lot of people on YouTube that do booster box opening videos, and they do them all sorts of different ways. And that's awesome. You know what? It's super cool. You'll find that I do mine my own certain way, but one thing I will just warn you right now, you may have looked at the length of the video and went, wow, it took you, well, I don't know how long it is, I just started recording, but let's say like 40 minutes to open a box? I could do that in 10 minutes. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, that's absolutely true. I like to take the time to look at the different cards I get. Some people enjoy that. Some people, you know, it's not their cup of tea, but you know what? That's my style and I'm sticking to it. So. If you know, if you just want to watch someone open a box really quick, I'm not your guy. <laughs> but if you want to watch someone open a box and kind of take a look at the cards and be like, ooh, this is neat, hey, then maybe you'll like watching this. So there's another thing that a lot of people that open up booster boxes do, and that's as they open the packs, here, let's put this over here. As they open the packs, they, um, they rearrange the cards. You'll find that I don't do that. And it's just, you know, it's a personal preference. I just don't care for it. But anyway, that being said, let's take a look at the newest expansion, X and Y, Roaring Skies. Roar, look at that Rayquaza. Or Rayquaza, tem or technically. Yeah, he's really roaring. Mega Rayquaza, there are, hey, I'm gonna call it Rayquaza, all right? I'm just gonna tell you right now, I'm just gonna tell you right now, that's one of those things that Oh man, the Pokemon fandom, they get crazy about it. Although most call it Rayquaza anyway, even though it's officially Rayquaza. Look at this Natu. It's got Peck, <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> I don't know. The Pikachu looks a little silly to be honest, but Spiro, Voltorb, Inkay, Dratini. That's my foil, or my reverse foil. Or reverse hollow, we go back and forth with this in every episode. Uh, Carbink, or episode, wow. I guess these are episodic now, all my booster box opening videos. Yeah, this is kind of interesting here. It lets you, um, well, it just prevents all damage done to it by attacks while it's on the bench. It's kind of interesting, I guess. Ooh, and Pheasant, now this thing, this regal beast, look at this, okay? First of all, that thing is really, it is showing off, but Oh, this attack. Strong wins. For three colorless energy, shuffle all cards attached to each player's Pokemon into that player's deck? What? That is crazy. I guess that would include, like, energy cards and stuff. I don't think it includes evolution, but wow. I read that and I had to read it a few times. It's like, does that do what I think it does? Like, basically reset the game? Yeah, there's this Manectric here, and then Trainer's Mail. Now this is kind of interesting. It's an item card, so not a supporter, but you get to look at the top four cards of your deck and reveal a trainer card you find there and put it into your hand. And then you shuffle the other cards back into your deck. Now that's actually not too shabby since it doesn't use up your supporter card for the turn. 
So, you know, you could get a supporter card with that because supporters are trainer cards. So, you could definitely see some potential in that. Um, also, yeah, two things. I will give out my code card if I get a Pokemon EX or other kind of super rare card. And yeah, I don't rearrange my cards. So like the rarest things in the back, I just like opening the packs the way they were meant to be opened. That's just me, you know? A lot of people will choose to open them different ways. And personally, like for me, I just, I don't know what it is about it, but it bothers me when people open it that way. I know that, you know, people do it. It's really no problem. And I know why. It's just like, it's probably it bothers you not, or having me not do it that way. Anyway, look at this Taylo. This Taylo looks cool. It's not all that great, but it looks cool. This Wurmple, on the other hand, I mean, it's pretty much in the top percentage of Wurmple. Look, it has Flock. It lets you search your deck for Wurmple and put it onto your bench. So you can get more Wurmple with that. That's kind of cool. Dunsparce. You know what I noticed about this Dunsparce? It has free retreat. That was actually really useful in the pre-release. Um, it's not all that great, but you know, you can burrow, discard some cards from your opponent's deck. Spiro, not to. Oh, look at this. Now this isn't like, you know, some secret rare or anything. This is a new style of cards that they released in the last set, or at least they introduced them in the last set. They're called, um, actually I don't even know what they're officially called, but everyone kind of calls them half arts because they're like a half full art. I don't know, better than a half empty art. But yeah, this thing has a really cool kind of ability. It's a trait, it's called. It's not an ability, but it's kind of like one. If your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack of this Pokemon, take one more prize card. Wow, that's really cool. So with that Wind Shard, it does 50 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. You can't hit an active Pokemon with that, just the bench. But if you knock it out, you get two prize cards. That's really nice. And if you knock out a Pokemon EX with that, you get three instead. Wow. <laughs> so kind of good, I guess. Um, pretty cool. Oh, look at this. Here's another one of those half arts. Togekiss. This thing is pretty cool. It has another trait, except this one is called Delta Evolution. You may play this card from your hand to evolve a Pokemon during your first turn or the turn you play that Pokemon. So, you could theoretically play this on the first turn. Now, one thing to keep in mind, you can't Rare Candy a Togepi into this on the first turn because Rare Candy says you can't play it on the first turn. That would supersede this effect. But there is a Togepi tick, yeah, the middle one, that has a similar trait, so you could go straight from Togepi to that Togetic to this Togekiss on the first turn if you wanted, which is kind of cool. There's also a trainer card, Wally, that would let you do a similar thing, because that circumvents the rule where you can't evolve on the turn you played it, or um, on the turn it just evolved. But anyway, what's cool about this, it might not have the greatest attack in the world. <laughs> it's going to be difficult for you to read this text, I'd imagine. It's kind of tough for me to as well. But when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may look at the top eight cards of your deck. Choose any basic energy cards you find there and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. That can be kind of interesting to get some extra energy from your deck onto your Pokemon. Now, eight cards isn't a lot, but there might be some things you can do to put some energy on top of your deck to help accelerate it. Wow, there's a card that was just meant for that Togekiss. Speaking of Wally, -E, here's Wally. -E. Yep, we found him. Um, it's sort of like the old card from the Ruby and Sapphire set, like way back. Or maybe it was Sandstorm. Oh yeah, that's right, it was EX Sandstorm. Wally's -E training method, except this one does allow you to use it on the first turn, which is really cool. You search your deck for a card that evolves from one of your Pokemon, excluding Pokemon EX, and put it onto that Pokemon. It counts as evolving it. Uh, shuffle your deck afterward. You can use this card during your first turn or on a Pokemon that was put into play this turn. So it does break the rules. But since it's a card that breaks the rules, don't worry, you're not a rule breaker in playing it. It's a way to get around that. So you can use Wally to evolve things that you just played or that have been out for just the one turn or, you know, evolve for just the one turn. And there's Silcoon, rather basic, really, but oh well. Yay, a reprint of Ultra Ball. Always a nice searching card. Discard two cards from your hand. You, know, you have to do that in order to play the card. And then you search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. So even though you have to discard for it, you get anything Pokemon-wise from your deck. So that's kind of nice. Plus, that's a good thing to use with another card in this set. 
Shaman EX, which I really hope I pull because I like Shaman. <laughs> I really do, and it's a great card. Anyway, we got Bagon, Electrike, another Talo, Execute! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> that attack. Loathe! I loathe you! <laughs> Flip a coin. If I had switched this Pokemon with one of your bench po Why would you do that? That's so silly. Oh, okay, whatever. Um, oh, look at this Hawlucha. This thing looks pretty cool. Tackle and mid-air strike. Um, I think the other one's probably better, but this was okay at the pre-release, except for the fact that everything in this set is resistant to fighting. But Tropius, this was great in the pre-release. Um, not all that great in, like, real competitive play, although I guess, you know, if you need a basic grass that isn't an EX and takes all colorless, I can hit for 50. You know, maybe slap a muscle band on this. Huh, actually not too bad. But... It was great at the pre-release because it's just so bulky. And, you know, if you're just a new player starting out and you don't have a lot of strong cards, let me tell you, this thing's actually pretty strong for how easy it is to get. It's actually just an uncommon. This is just the reverse foil version of it. Um, so it's not that bad. I mean, it hits for up to 70 with Stomp if you get heads, and then Solar Beam does 80 straight up. Nice. Shedinja. So this thing, it has 30 hit points. It's a cheaty Shedinja. <laughs> um, how'd you do that, Shedinja? You're supposed to have one. But anyway, it's um, first attack, Cursed Rain. You put one damage counter on each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Or no, I'm sorry, each of your opponent's Pokemon. So it includes the bench and the active. And then you switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. So you kind of hit all the things on your opponent's field, and then you run away, which is nice, because it doesn't have very many hit points. It also has Hopeless Scream, which does 50 damage times the number of damage counters on this Pokemon. So, it only has 30 hit points, but it can do a lot. And, you know, if there's a way to raise its hit points, which I'm trying to think off the top of my head, I think there might be a few tricks here and there you can do. That could do a lot for one colorless. Even to that, 100 for one colorless isn't too bad. Plus, want to know a little fun fact about this card? Almost every single trading card in the Pokemon trading card game would have the colorless attack up top. So it's always the colorless attack followed by the, um, the type attack. So kind of interesting. <laughs> They'd change that. Uh, all right, let's see. Flechinder, Peck Off. Uh, before doing damage, discard all Pokemon tool cards attached to your opponent's active. Oh, okay. Latio Spirit Link. Cool. So, this can be attached to your, um... Well, actually, I guess it can technically be attached to anything. But, uh, as long as it doesn't have a tool attached to it already, of course. Because it's a Pokemon tool card. But, your turn does not end if the Pokemon this card is attached to becomes Mega Latio CX. So, normally when you Mega Evolve one of your Pokemon, your turn ends afterwards. If this is attached, well, you don't get to have something uh, attached to it, because that's already attached, but your turn doesn't end, so it's kind of a nice trade-off. <laughs> this executor is pretty funny. Just has shake it off. Just, just gotta shake it off, guys. All right, um, yeah. It does 20 damage times the number of colorless Pokemon your opponent has in play. Kind of interesting, kind of interesting. And then Seed Bomb for 80. Hmm, yeah. All right. Cool. So, so far, nothing like spectacular, but the skies are indeed roaring, and I think we're on to something good. I bet you this pack, right? Right? We're going to have something cool in here. Uh, we have the Execute that I loathe. We have Fletchling. We have that Pikachu again. We have Beedove. Homing Beedove. Look at that. Look at the top card of your deck. Then you may shuffle your deck. Oh, I don't like that one. Nope. Put it back. <laughs> All this bag on. It has almost flight. It almost flies. Almost. Kind of. Eh. Oh, Royal Fletchling. Cool. Articuno! Oh yeah! There's that Articuno. That's the one you can get in the theme deck. It has Find Ice for one water. Search your deck for up to three water energy cards. Reveal them and put them, put them into your hand. Um, and then Freezing Wind. Four for a hundred. So, I mean, it's okay. Kind of interesting. It costs a lot to use that attack, but for a basic, it's not too bad. You know, I wouldn't play it Oh well. Anyway, Rayquaza Spirit Link. Same thing as that Latios one, except for Rayquaza, of course. And then a Gliscor. Yeah, it has Rock Slide for one colorless. It does 20 damage to the active, and it does 20 damage to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. 
That's actually not too bad. Um, for one colorless, and then Tranquil, which can fly. Well, I was wrong about that being a good, good pack. No, <laughs> that, that just flew out the window right there. Yes, it did. Oh, man. All right, well, we got Hawlucha again, jumping up. Uh, we got Dratini. We got Natu. Oh, except this is a different Natu. This has that Delta Plus that allows you to take an extra prize card if you knock out one of your opponent's Pokemon by damage from an attack of one of this Pokemon, or of, of one of this Pokemon's attacks, that's right. But it only has one attack, Psy Wave, which does 10 damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active. So yeah, probably not gonna be using that ability, <laughs> or that trait, I'm sorry. Trait, look at all those Wingull. <laughs> that's a lot of Wingull. All right, Fletchling. Uh, execute, Foil Execute, which I just loathe. And, oh, there's another Dust Ox. Cool. Yeah, we've already seen that. Oh, Wide Lens. Oh, that's kind of interesting. So imagine with that Gly score, right? You know, that does damage to the bench? Well, if this is attached to it, the Wide Lens, damage from the attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to is affected by weakness and resistance for your opponent's bench Pokemon. Now you might be thinking, what did that just say? <laughs> well, don't worry. Um, basically, it means normally with um, attacks that damage the bench, right? Normally, just by default, they do not apply weakness and resistance. That's sort of like a meta rule. They just don't. Well, if this is attached to that Pokemon, then it does apply weakness and resistance for bench Pokemon whenever it uses an attack. So that's kind of interesting. If, you know, you're targeting things on the bench that are weak to fighting and using that Gliscor, well, you're going to do uh, double the damage if they're weak to it. <laughs> Togetic. There are two Togetics in the set. This one is not the one with the Delta Evolution. This one just goes fetch. But it does shuffle three basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. I guess it's okay at getting energy back. And Thero. Well, nothing much so far. But that's okay. We have just started here, that's right. And I have this feeling like we're gonna get something good coming up really soon, don't you think? I do. Wingo, Dratini, Electrike, Swablu, Bagon, Continuous Headbutt, Beautifly, oh yeah, Reverse Loyal, Beautifly. Miraculous Scales prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon EX. Kind of nifty, really. Plus, Whirlwind, 80 for three, not terrible, really. It also has free retreat. Um, you may have your opponent switch his or her active Pokemon with one of his or her benched. So, um, oh, yeah, so I think, uh, they would switch in that instance, so they would choose who they switch, because otherwise, um, you would choose the bench. But still, it's a good way to be like, hey, I don't want what you got up there, so get rid of it, and force them to, like, retreat or something. Oh, and then there's this Bayonet. This thing's cool. It has that Delta Evolution trait that lets it evolve on the turn you play it. So, pretty nice. If you go second, you could actually attack first turn with this thing if you start with Shuppet and have this in your hand. Plus, it has an attack called Evolution Jammer. For one Psychic, it does 20 damage, but the worst part about it is, well, for your opponent at least, your opponent can't play any Pokemon from his or her hand to evolve his or her Pokemon during his or her next turn. So that's a great way to shut down your opponent's evolution if you keep applying that evolution hammer. Uh, especially since you can evolve like on the first turn and do that, so eek. Uh, it also has curse deeply because cursing softly just is not enough. This thing has to curse deeply. You put five damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon. Interesting. All right, oh, there we go, double dragon energy. That's right, no, this isn't a fighting game, don't worry. This is double dragon energy. It can only be attached to dragon Pokemon. This card provides every type of energy, but provides only two energy at a time, only while this card is attached to a dragon Pokemon. If it's attached to anything other than a dragon Pokemon, discard this card. And that's basically if, like, you had a dragon that evolved into something that wasn't a dragon, you'd have to discard it immediately and you can only attach it to a dragon. But it counts as two of anything. Two of anything. That's pretty cool because there aren't actually attacks that require dragon energy. This is the closest thing we have to a dragon energy and it's kind of nifty, really. Um, yeah, definitely a good thing. Oh boy, here's a game changer right here. Literally, Skyfield. It's a stadium card, so you place it in play and both players have the effect of it. Then, 
It says, yes, this is indeed correct. It says each player can have eight Pokemon on his or her bench. Normally you have five Pokemon per player's bench. In this, you have eight, eight Pokemon in your bench. Like what? That's insane. That is a lot of Pokemon. I'm trying to think of table space for that. Like, wow. Um, if this card leaves play, or when it leaves play, each player discards bench Pokemon until he or she has five on the bench. And uh, the owner of this card discards first. So, you know, if this goes away, you can't just keep all eight out there. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, wow, Skyfield. <laughs> that is a really interesting card. It also plays very well with... Um, one of the mega evolutions in this set, Mega Rayquaza, the colorless one. It does 30 damage times the number of bench Pokemon you have. So yeah, yeah, pretty crazy. Oh, I love this Inkay, by the way. Uh, hopefully I can show you the art for the Meowth. It's kind of funny, it has rip off. This Inkay sort of is meant to be like, oh, look at that, look at that, perfect. Perfect timing, okay? So the Meowth, that artwork happens first, and you can see, see that little Inkay in the corner right there, just scheming. Meowth, I love its attack, it's just feeling fine. Yeah, I'm feeling fine. And then, <laughs> then when this card hits art, it's like, yep, Inkay took the berry, it ripped it off. I don't know, I always love it when art between cards kind of like, you know, <laughs> when it does stuff like that, I think it's really fun. All right, Cascoon. Ooh, Reverse Foil Altaria. Interesting, it has Song of Echoes. Echoes, Echoes. Uh, shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw a number of cards equal to the number of benched Pokemon, both yours and your opponents. Hold up, let me put down that Skyfield and draw like 16 cards. <laughs> yeah, seriously, you could do that. Um, in fact, you have to be careful because you don't draw up to, you draw that many, so woo. Its attack kind of stinks, but wow, or the second attack, Midnight Eyes, wow, 30 in there, sleep, eh, big deal, but the first attack. Oh, Mega Galadiax, look at that, that thing looks sweet. Yeah, it has the unwavering blade for 110 damage, and wow, it does 30 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. So, I mean, you know, not that you probably would, but just imagine, like, comboing that with something like Shedinja. Or I think there's, oh, I'm trying to think if it's still legal or not, there's a Minin that does 10 to everything? I don't know. Something that starts by hitting everything for 10, and then you just have this show up and be like, yeah, I'm gonna do 110 to your active and 30 to everything else, and I'm just gonna keep slicing and dicing, like, every turn. Yeah, that's really kind of strong. <laughs> I kind of like it, actually. It's just so good at hitting the active for a lot. Not like, you know, an insane amount, as you may see later. Why am I putting this off to the side? Let's put it where we can all see it. There we go. Um, revive. Oh, there's that other Altaria and Dust Ox. Okay, I'm gonna give you the code card, guys. First one to enter it gets it. Here you go. Oh, look at that. It says Max on it. Yeah, Max. What's up, Max? Um, <laughs> yeah, so... Only the first person that enters this gets it. That's how the code cards work, but that unlocks a booster pack on the trading card game online, which is kind of neat, always a cool thing. All right, well, kind of like that Meowth, I'm feeling fine about that galley. I don't know, that thing <laughs> looks cool. Uh, speaking of feeling fine, there's Meowth again. Uh, Gligar, as your opponent's active, is now paralyzed and poisoned. Oh, that's always me. Oh, I love this shuffet, blah! Blah! <laughs> discard a special energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Now in a pinch, this can discard things on your opponent's bench Pokemon too. So, you know, if you start with that and they're putting like double colorless or double dragon energy on things, it's like, eh, blah, blah. Oh, there's another Altaria. This one has Delta Evolution, so you can play it immediately. Uh, well, okay, let me rephrase that. You can evolve your Swablu immediately. Its attack really stings, but it does have a cool ability. Clear humming. Each of your colorless Pokemon has no weakness. That's kind of nice, you know, if you're afraid of electric type cards. Most are weak to electric. Um, but there are a few that are weak to other things, so that's a good way to get around them. Actually, most in this set are. I guess a lot of them are weak to, like, fighting and things. Because in the Pokemon trading card game, there's not actually a flying type. It's kind of mixed in with, um, with colorless, so... 
Swagger. Oh, the one thing with the Ninkata, it has an attack that damages itself. That sets up very nicely with um, the Shedinja. It's a good way to get damage counters on it. All right. Ooh, Electro. Continuous Tumble. Energy Bomb to 70. Plus, you may move all energy from this Pokemon to your bench Pokemon in any way you like. Eh, kind of interesting. Oh, look at that! Wait, didn't I just get one of these? <laughs> yeah, this is just like the Mega Gallade I pulled, except this is the fancy full art version, as it's called. So I don't need to reread it, but it does look really cool. Look at that, doesn't that look awesome? I love the look of that, oh man. Really cool looking. Palipur, ah! Switch, and Dragonair. Here, have another code! First to, first to enter it, gets it! All right, well, cool, I've got me some Mega Gallades. That's awesome. I guess I kind of need the normal Gallade because you have to play it onto a Gallade EX in order to get it into play. So, <laughs> kind of need to get those if I want to play them. Uh, Togepi, Kita. Oh yeah, see, that's what I mean, that slight intrusion. It does 10 damage to itself. And actually, that's helpful if you're playing the Shedinja. Whoa, look at this Swellow! I love the look of this. This is like one of the coolest looking cards in the set, in my opinion. It just looks so awesome! And, you know, I have a certain fondness for Swellow after some stuff happened. But anyway, it has Delta Plus, which is cool. That means it gets an extra prize card when it knocks something out. It has Peck for 30 and Wing Attack for 50. Pretty simple, but, you know, it's not too bad. All right, and, whoa, Zekrom! Look at that. Oh, foil and everything. Uh, it has Energy Stream. For 30 damage, not too bad for one lightning energy. You attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon. So that's cool with things like Ultra Ball. You know, discard two energy and then just energy stream to get more Pokemon, or more energy on this Pokemon. Yeah, that's not too bad. Executor, oh, and it does 100, just a straight up 100 for four. But since you can charge it up pretty quick, it's not too shabby. Trainer's Mail, Electric. All right, cool. Yeah, liking it. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, this is it's a fun set. I like the art in it. There's a lot of flying type Pokemon in it, uh, which is cool. There are a lot of things that fly, rather. I guess they aren't all flying types. Huh? Huh? Ah! Uh, <laughs> Talonflame, Grand Loop. Draw three cards and switch this with one of your bench, or you may switch it. And Brave Bird, 90 for two. It only does 20 damage to itself. Oh, not that bad. I mean, I probably wouldn't run a whole stage two line just for that. Hey, Gallade Spirit Link. <laughs> I know what I need. Uh, yeah. Oh, Ninjask. This thing has Wing Buzz. Once during your turn, if this is your active Pokemon, you may discard a card from your hand. If you do, discard the top card of your opponent's deck. Oh, if only this would work uh, from the bench. That'd be, like, amazing. It'd be way too good, but oh well. Um, after Image Assault. Does 30 damage. And search your deck for up to two Ninjask and put them onto your bench. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Yes, that's right, two Ninjask. You'd actually play this stage one Pokemon onto your bench. You don't even need to evolve from Ninkata in that instance, which, hey, that's kind of nice. Can't go wrong with that. Free evolution. Sign me up! All right, we got Voltorb again. And I know I said Lightning type earlier, and you know what? I'm not correcting myself because in the card game, they're actually called lightning types for some reason. Lightning energy, I think it was. Of course, in the video game, they're called electric types. Same with uh, steel and metal. They're called metal in the, uh, the card game. Ooh, this is the Reshiram. It's a reverse foil version, but still pretty cool. Sort of the counterpart to the Zekrom, but I love its ability. Oh, man. Um, Turbo Blaze, once during your turn, before your attack, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may attach a fire energy card from your hand to one of your dragon Pokemon. So while you normally attach it to Reshiram directly, um, if it's active, you can attach it to something else on your bench too. But it makes charging up Brightwing pretty quick, all things considered. And you just have to discard a fire energy attached to this Pokemon in order to use it. It does 110. Not too bad. There's another Toga Kiss. This thing has powerful slap. Yeah, you flip a coin for each energy attached to this Pokemon, it does 50 damage times the number of heads. Whoa! And then Aura Sphere for 70, and it does 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Interesting. There's that one. Pheasant again. And the Electrode. Alright, moving along now. 
da, 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 da. Let's see, what do we got in this lovely fine booster pack right here? We got Electrike. We got Bagon, looking a little unsure of itself. Pidov! Mankata. Swablu. Ooh, Foiled Gligar. Zatu. I love Zatu. It's such a cool looking Pokemon. Um, don't really think that has the greatest moves, but oh well. Um, Future Sight, look at the top five cards of either player's deck and put them back on top of that player's deck in any order. It's useful for rearranging things, plus you can also mess up your opponent that way. And Stressful Eye. Oh my eye is so stressful. <laughs> Such a silly name. Uh, your opponent reveals his or her hand. Discard a trainer card you find there. Now that can be an item, that can be a supporter. That's actually not that bad for hand control, I guess, but it's just kind of weak. I don't know. Maybe it's not as bad as I thought. Maybe it's some work, but you really have to you really have to do that right if you want to make some kind of hand control deck. I used to run one way back. It used the um, Team Plasma Chat Hot. And I keep bringing the Chat Hot up into my hand using this one card. Um, not Team Plasma. What was it? Team. Oh, Team Galactic! Yeah, that's right. And then I just keep reordering the opponent's deck. It was really fun, like seriously. Uh, it didn't do like a ton of damage, but once you got your opponent locked, I mean, there's nothing they could do. It was so much fun. Oh, there's that Zapdos. Drill Pack for 20, and then Raging Thunder. It does 120 for 3, and it's not in the X, which is kind of nice. Plus, it does 40 damage to one of your bench Pokemon. Yeah, that's right. It does 20 or 40 to one of yours. Mm, kind of stinks, but, you know, that's how it goes. It's not that bad. Oh, look at this full art beast. Thunderous EX, full art. Wow, crazy. Look at that thing. <laughs> that thing is really wild. Um, I haven't actually seen this card before, even though I've gone to pre-releases and stuff. Yeah, so this thing has headlock, which does 30 damage, and you flip a coin if it does, or if it gets heads, if the coin gets heads, if you get heads with the coin, it does 30 more damage. If you get tails, your opponent's active Pokemon's paralyzed. Kind of like the old Haymaker Electabuzz. And then three lightning, whoa. It does 150 damage, but it does 50 damage to itself. That kind of stinks, but that's a lot of damage for three lightning energy. Huh, interesting. Well, I'll take another full art, that's for sure. All right, Latio, Spirit Link, Dustox, and Firo. Here, have a code card. Yay. Well, you know what? It started off kind of slow, but <laughs> you know, this just this half of the box has turned out pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed, and there's still another half to go. Well, thankfully we should be going through this, uh, the next half, a lot quicker because, you know, we've seen most of these cards. Um, Clef Key, <laughs> I love this. Look for keys! Where are my keys? <laughs> They're in the couch, where they always are. Uh, reveal cards from the top of your deck until you reveal an item card. Put it in your hand. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. Okay, found my keys. Got Wally, Silcoon, and another Ultra Ball. Nice. Yeah, we'll be going through the rest of the packs a lot faster because, you know, once we've seen the cards, you get a lot of stuff that you already have. That's just how it goes. And like I told you early on, you know, I'm casual when it comes to opening up booster packs. I like to take my time with them, just have some fun. You know, don't take it seriously. I like to look at the cards. Um, all right, so we got Jirachi with Diminutive Desire. Wow. Uh, look at the top seven cards of your deck and put one of them into your hand. Shuffle the other cards back in your deck. Not too bad. If only you could attack on the first turn again, that'd be awesome. Uh, and then Doom Desire. And actually, there are things that let you do that on the first turn in this set, which is interesting. Uh, discard all energy attached to this Pokemon. The defending Pokemon is knocked out at the end of your opponent's next turn. Although that sounds great, they can just retreat and get around that, or evolve and get around that, all sorts of things. Like, oh, okay. Uh, Revive, Pelipper, and Togetic. Yeah, Revive is an old card. I don't think I actually showed that, but it lets you put a basic Pokemon from your discard pile onto your bench. Kind of nifty. Wow, this pack. What the heck? Usually, you know... Once you've opened as many packs as I have, it's like, you know how to open packs. When there's one that gives you grief, it's like, whoa, what? Get out of here. Do I need an HM move to open you? What? 
<laughs> oh, okay. Foil Firo. Oh, another Swallow. This one looks nice and all. It's cool artwork, but not as cool as the half art one. Um, it's kind of mediocre, I'll be honest. Oh, well. All right. Moving right along here. Final pack of the first half of the box. That means in 18 packs, we have gotten what you see. Uh, well, what you've seen so far, really. Feeling fine. I'm feeling fine about that. How are you guys feeling about that? Hopefully good. Not too, not too bad. <laughs> All right, Dragonite. Oh, yeah, there's two Dragonites in the set. This is the Happy Dragonite. Mm, no pun intended, Happy Dragonite. Um, <laughs> wow, that was actually unintentional. Uh, it has max wind. And when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may heal all damage from one of your Pokemon. Wow, that's actually kind of cool. And then Mock Press does 80 damage for three. Not terrible. You flip two coins with both their heads. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. So, I don't know. Interesting. It's good if you can find a way to bring it back into your hand. Whoa, look at this one. Pheasant, this thing looks cool. It has Delta Evolution, so you can evolve it right away. Feather Dance, during your next turn, each of this Pokemon's attacks do 80 more damage. Hmm, and then Sky Attack. Wow, okay, hold up. Sky Attack, oh, jeez. Flip a coin of Tails, this attack does nothing. So if you use Feather Dance and then Sky Attack... <laughs> yeah, you're flipping for 200. Good luck with that, buddy! All right, Ultra Ball, Ninjask, and Shellgun. Okay. Okay, half of the box is open. How cool is that? Oh man, time to open up the next half. Let's see, you know, three, three's pretty good so far. Especially since two are full arts, that's nice. Usually you could be pretty happy if you just get one. That's about the standard, I guess. Skarmory, it's a colorless Skarmory. Yeah, look at that, not uh, metal. <laughs> And it's called for family. Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon and put them under your bench. Actually, not too bad. And then Blow Through does 30 damage, but if there's a Stadium card in play, it does 30 more. So 60 for a double colorless energy. One retreat, 100 hit points and a basic. Actually, not too bad. Call for family's nice to get, like, basic Pokemon on the bench, like Rayquaza. Yeah, because, you know, there's a Rayquaza, and it's really good. Steven! Search your deck for a supporter card and a basic energy card. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. So it's kind of like Skyla, except you get a basic energy, but you can't get a trainer card. So kind of interesting. Like with Skyla, you can search for a trainer card, um, but you don't get that basic energy along with it. I find that being able to get a basic energy is really nice, because so often it's like, yeah, I want to get that thing I need, but I could also really use some energy and I don't want to have to choose between the two. Well, that's a good solution. All right, let's see. I mean, it could be interesting. Dunce bars, Voltorb. It's so messy with this pack. Jeez. All right. Oh, there's the Dragonite. The happy one on Pheasant. Electrode and Altaria. All right. Do -do -do. I don't know. Something feels different about the wrapping of these packs. It's kind of interesting. Wormful, Talo, Electrike, Bagon, Beedog, Royal Togepi, another Carbink. Um, also, one interesting thing with this Carbink, I didn't mention it earlier, it has that jewel armor that prevents damage done to it by attacks if it's on the bench. Zapdos, remember, it damages one of your benched? Well, <laughs> target that and it won't do any damage, so that could be a good workaround. Or there's, oh, I'm trying to think if that Mr. Mime is still around, or even a thing. There's a Mr. Mime that prevented all bench damage, but it might have just been for your opponent. I don't know. I feel like if your opponent tries to damage you. All right, let's see. Alucha and, oh, look at that. It's the normal foil version of the Swallow. That thing looks so awesome. I love it. <laughs> it just looks cool. All right, all right. Well, nothing so far in this box, but you know what? The la or this half of the box, but you know what? Like the last half, maybe it's just another Reggie Gigas, you know? Off to a slow start. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Um, either that or maybe it's slacking. I don't think either of those are in this set, thankfully. Flitchinder and another Altaria. Yeah, they oh, here we go. Mega Turbo! What the heck is that thing? It looks like a whirlwind in a bottle. 
Um, yeah, you attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your Mega Evolution Pokemon. That's actually not too bad if you're playing Mega Evolutions. Because, let's face it, you know, getting extra energy... Hey, that's a good thing! Like, seriously, if you've already got a Mega Evolution out, you want to charge it up right away, that's a good way to do it. Definitely. Halucha, Teeny, Inkay, not to! Another not to! <laughs> two not to! Uh, I'm Fezza and Victini! Me first! Uh, yeah, otherwise it's terrible. That's actually a really bad card. Uh, like, wow! Oh, man! Um, okay, okay, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there so far, this half of the box. You gotta, you gotta turn around. That's what you gotta do. Not to. Not to! Double not to! What does it mean? Fletchling. Execute. Foil Clef Key. Another Swallow. I got so many Swallows! Um, yeah, Shellgun. All right, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. We're gonna get some cool things coming up here, right? Right? Oh yeah, We're feeling fine. Peck, more peck. <laughs> Bleh. Hook. Peck. I'm just reading the attacks. Ooh, got a full or er, half art Articuno. That's actually kind of interesting. It has that Delta Plus, so it gets an extra prize card when it knocks something out. It has Chilling Sigh. <sighs> uh, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep, but then it has Tri Edge, which totally doesn't sound like something from Dot Hack. Um, it lets you flip three coins. It does 40 more damage for each head. So even though it only does 20 by default, it has the potential to do a lot. And remember, you're going to be knocking out your opponent's Pokemon and getting an extra prize card for doing that. So oof, if you get a lot of heads with that, that's a good thing. Kind of interesting, actually. Uh, double Dragon Energy, Tropius, and another Sky Field! Oh man! Oh man, the sky! Alright, what else have we in here? Let's find out. We got Spiro, Wingle, Manacle, Pikachu, Inkay, Taylo. Oh, look at this beast! It's a Rayquaza EX! Yeah, there's actually two different Rayquaza EX and two different Mega Rayquaza EX. This is the colorless one. It has Intensifying Burn. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon EX, it does 50 more damage. Wow. So that's 60 for one. And Dragon Pulse. Discard the top three cards of your deck. Oh, that hurts. But 100 damage for three colorless is not too bad. Now, this is not a Dragon type. You can't attach double Dragon Energy to it. But it only takes colorless, so you can just use double colorless energy, and that's fine too. Or anything, really. Uh, Galaxy Spirit Link, Wide Lens, Flitchinger. Here you go! Oh! Tax! Oh man, it's tax time, right? No, no, that was back in April. I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, all right. Let's see. Well, that's nice. Yeah, that Rayquaza looks kind of cool. The Mega one is awesome, though. Easy. All right, Pikachu, Wurmple, Bagon, Binnacle, Gligar, Pelipper. Whoa! <laughs> Speaking of which, wow, back-to-back -back Megas. Uh, or not Megas, but Rayquazas and EXs and stuff. Yeah, this is the, uh, the Mega Ray that I was telling you about. It has, oh man, it has um, Delta Evolution. So, you may play this card from your hand to evolve Pokemon during your first turn, or the turn you play that Pokemon. So you could theoretically play this on the first turn, and even though it would end your turn, like, you weren't going to be able to attack anyway, so you might as well. That is nice. But what's even nicer is that attack, Emerald Break. Oh, it does 30. Wow, why don't we need something that does 30? It does 30 damage times the number of your benched Pokemon. Okay, so let me get this straight. I have like, what, you know, five bench Pokemon, so that's gonna hit for like 150 for three, and all I have to do is fill up my bench? Like, what? Seriously? Oh, you mean I could put a Sky Field down and have eight bench Pokemon and then be hitting for like 240 damage for three colorless energy? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty strong. Oh man, that thing is solid. Like, it is a card you have to watch out for competitively, seriously. It's very strong. <laughs> very strong. And it's great that I managed to get one um, 
right after the other Rayquaza, so that's cool. Now if I could just get a Gal ADX, maybe I could play my other Mega Evolution. But even at that, five, not too shabby there. Ooh, foils out too. Absol. This thing has cursed eyes. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may move three damage counters from one of your opponent's Pokemon to another. Interesting. Huh. So that could be used to surprise your opponent and be like, oh, you thought you were safe from getting knocked out this turn? Nope. Absol. Gotcha. I mean, maybe, right? That, that could be a thing. That could be a thing. Oh my goodness. Seriously, Pack? Wow. That pack just didn't want to let go. It's guarding the good stuff, right? That's got to be it. All right, Gligar, Shuppet, bleh. Feeling fine. Ooh, Deoxys. Yeah, that has that, that attack I was telling you about that lets you use it if you go first. So for one colorless, close encounter. If you go first, you can use this attack on your first turn. Draw two cards. Now you can use it on your second turn and stuff too. Don't worry. It's just you can actually cheat. You can cheat! This card lets you cheat, guys. Confirmed. <laughs> no, it doesn't. But it does let you get around that rule that you can only attack on the sec- or you can only attack if you go second on the first turn. Um, I know it sounds weird, but it's true. So cool. And then Overdrive Smash does 30 damage. Not a lot, but during your next turn, this Pokemon's Overdrive Smash attack does 60 more damage. So keep using that over and over again. Suddenly you're applying a lot of pressure to your opponent. So, yeah, that's uh, kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. Not that bad to lead with, really. Okay, almost to the end of this box. Wow, this has actually run pretty long. I apologize if you had something else you needed to do. But hopefully, you know what? This is what you wanted to do. That's the way I look at it. Oh, nice! Full Art Wally! Oh, that, that's such a really cool looking card. I mean, you know, it's... It's just like a pretty card. I don't know what it is. Like, pretty doesn't really seem like, ooh, yeah, Wally, you're so pretty. But no, I mean, it's hard to tell, but there's like a kind of almost a floral pattern thing, like a flower on there. It's just a nice looking card. I like it. It's a cool full art, but awesome to get. Full art, wow, three full arts in one box? That is good. Oh man, that that's actually really good. Ooh, Winona, search your deck for up to three colorless Pokemon reveal them and put them in your hand. That's a really nice card. Oh, yeah, what am I doing? Here you go, have another code card. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Wow, three full arts. That is insane. That is insane. <laughs> like, it seemed like it was starting off kind of slow, but oof, it turned around. All right, Wurmple. Makeda, Spinnacle, Spiro. Dunsparce, well, p of <laughs> another Dustox, Gallade, Wide Lens, and Flachinder. Oh, man, yeah, I'm, I'm actually pretty stoked with this now. It's looking pretty good. Except I would have liked to have gotten Shaman. I'm not going to lie. I love Shaman. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, you know, it's a cool Pokemon. It's just neat. I like Skyform Shaman. That's one of my favorites. Ooh, foil with them. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah, you guys. Oh, Healing Scarf. Uh, whenever you attach an energy card from your hand to the Pokemon this card is attached to, heal 20 damage from it. Not too bad, actually. Let's you get some extra healing. Yeah, you know, <laughs> part of me's been wanting to do, like, uh, my favorite Pokemon kind of countdown or list or something. Um, I don't know if it'd be like a top 10 or like a top 25 or whatnot. You guys gotta let me know if that's something you'd even want to see, because I know we all have our favorites, and I need to kind of think a little bit more, like who still is in my top spots there? Because there are some that have just quickly risen to the top, like Meowstic. I love Meowstic. Uh, and then there's some that just hasn't really, haven't really, you know, shined in a bit. Ooh, Bayonet. Oh, this is a different Bayonet, but it's interesting. Its ability, Tool Concealment. Each Pokemon tool card in play has no effect, so that's really good for disrupting tools, really. Pretty interesting. There's all sorts of uses for it, so I can't even begin to list them. I don't know if it'll be viable or not, but it's kind of nice. Uh, but yeah, let me know, guys, if that's something that you're interested in seeing. Again, I'm not done with YouTube. I'm just taking a break from, you know, just doing the, the one series that I've been doing for a bit. Uh, Vega, Makeda... 
I see something. What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh! Wow, golden energy switch. No way. That is one of the secret rares. It is like gold as can be. Oh my goodness, this is like one of the best boxes ever. Wow. Oh man. Hold on. So I got three full arts, a secret rare energy switch, and even like three other non-EXs. Man! <laughs> That's really impressive. Yeah, take this code card! It is yours! Oh man, okay, that's that's really good. Oh man, um, awesome. Except I, <laughs> I wanted my shaman. Wah, wah. But it's okay. Hey, you know what? I can never complain about a box like this. Nah, ah, it was really good. Really good. Very stoked about that. Super awesome. Ending the day with an unpheasant there. Oh, look at that article. <laughs> oh man well you know what here just just take it just take it because I'm generous and because I feel like I got a great box you guys deserve a little something extra man look at that so let me know guys did you like this box I sure did oh it is nice it is nice um wow can I even camera angle <laughs> there we go hopefully that's a little better but wow very impressed Hopefully you guys enjoyed as much as I did. I know I do my books, my my box openings. What? What? No, my box openings. You know, a little bit different than everyone else's. I make it kind of an adventure, you know. Like you gotta be there for a while. Ooh, fingers. Look, fingers, guys. I know that's what I use to open up these packs with. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, let me know if you liked it, and be sure to stick around because you know what? I may still be doing some things. You might also want to check out my website, Maryland.com, because might maybe possibly be doing another giveaway for this in the future rather soon future i don't know for sure we're gonna find out and i might also if you guys uh let me know if you want uh do a theme deck kind of you know, beginner centric tutorial thingy for the two theme decks in this set which look really cool actually yeah they look awesome <laughs> i just love the look of them um but yeah hope you guys enjoyed i hope you have an awesome day and i will see you next time everyone